going to walk you through these exercises from taking data from an Excel, putting it into SPSS, and making the appropriate chart or graph. So first thing, we're going to make a pie chart from the percentages of car colors in a parking lot. Okay. So the fastest way is to open up a SPSS, this one, a blank one, and then we're going to just basically highlight the data, right click, copy, and then make sure you're in data view down here. Go to cell A1, right? This is row one, and then I just call them A. Click on it, paste. There's all the information. Go back to variable view. We're gonna name this one. Color. We're gonna leave it as a string. A string means it's text, okay? You can do that with this thing. And it automatically makes it nominal. The next one is, we're just going to call it percent, and that is a numeric, and we're going to make it a scale. All right. So there's always more than one way to do everything in SPSS, but we're going to go in and go to graphs. We're going to use the chart builder. That's what we're talking about here. There's the chart builder. And we want a pie chart, right? Pie graph. Click, drag that into the box. Beep. So the slices are by the categorical variables. And the percent is the count. Think of that as the, as the y-axis. And let's see if we did it right. Bring this up. You can see it. We click the OK button. And then it kicks over to the output sheet. There it is right there. Very pretty. Okay, that's how you make a pie chart with SPSS. And again, there's more than one way to do that. So let's move to the next one. So we're going to go to the majors. And from the earlier problem that we did before, we, we simply had to count these guys and how many were in each one. So there were nine there, 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 there. So we basically do the same thing to make a pie chart. Highlight the data. Copy back to your... SPSS, and we go back up to data view, and for the first open column, right click, paste, and same thing, we need to label these, so here's a shortcut, if you, if you double click on that one, it takes you right to where you need to go, so this one was majors, and underneath that was uh, students. That is a scale. So same thing. We're going to go to graphs. We're going to go to the chart builder. Graphs, chart builder. I always hit reset down here. Okay, this is a fixed size. Okay, but we still want the pie, right? Pie, 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 pie. Drag the pie in. This time we're going to do majors as the x-axis and the number of students as the y. And we're going to click OK. See if it worked. Yep, there it is right there. Number one business, big blue. So the pie charts are pretty easy. Moving on, let's do college tuitions. And this is going to be a bar chart, so you're going to highlight the data. Not the labels, just the data. Copy. Jump on over to this guy. Bam. Make sure you're in data view. Remember, when you're going to cut and paste, make sure you're always in data view. Because if you don't, you're going to screw it up. Paste. So this first one, double click, double click again, takes me to the name. So remember the name can have no spaces, no question marks, no commas, no weird symbols, okay? Plus it can't have, you cannot start off with a number. Don't ask me why. So these are schools. And this one is tuition. And that one is a scale. And we always click save. And I saved it. So I'm going to go to graphs. I'm going to go to the chart builder again. I'm going to hit the reset button down here on the bottom. Beep. This time I want to do a bar graph. Click bar. I always go with the simple stuff because I'm a simple kind of guy. 
So the x-axis, again in a bar graph, x-axis are the categorical variables. And the y-axis is always your dv, whatever you're trying to measure the difference in. And you're going to click OK. And there is your bar graph, right? These are all the schools down here. And how tall the bar is represents what their yearly tuition is. Bar graphs, easy cheesy. Next, it's birthdays by the day of the week. So how many births per day of the week? And uh, we can either do a pie or a bar chart here. Let's do them both, see which one would be a better fit. Copy. Again, make sure you're always in data view when you're copying and pasting anything, paste. And this is day of the week. And this is births. And this one is scale. So you'll notice that when there's text in the variable, which there is, and it's automatic, right here under day, that SPSS automatically will label it as a string data. That means it's recognizing text. And if you're gonna, it won't do any kind of mathematical calculations when it's registered as text. So be careful about that. So again, we're gonna do a let's do a, a pie chart first and see how that looks. We're gonna reset. Hi, and drag drag the picture in there. Don't forget to do that. And we're going to go by day. The slices are the days, and the, the width of the pie pieces will be the births. Click OK. Now, I'm not loving this because there's not one that's obviously bigger than the other one. It looks like one of these on top here is the biggest, maybe even the yellow one. So this is not a good chart to use for this kind of data. I'm going to switch to a bar graph. Oops, wrong one. Uh, no, 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 chart builder. Let's go to chart builder and reset. Boom. Bar graph. Bar graph. Days of the weeks are the x-axis. Births are the y-axis. Click OK. Yeah, much better, right? So for this data set, I would recommend a bar graph because you can tell with the blink of an eye that most, most babies are born on Tuesday. Right? Tuesday's child full of grace. And the least amount is Sunday, it's because they're all watching football. Woo all right, let's move on to the next one, which is the dreaded histogram. Okay, so the histogram in Excel is a little bit, um, what's a good word for it? It's a little bit more extensive to do. There's Again, there's more than one way to do it in Excel, either too, as well. But let me show you SPSS. We're in SPSS time. Copy. Again, make sure you're in data view when you're cutting and pasting data. Paste. And this was patience, I believe. Teachers always got patience. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. There's scale. Okay. So we'll do it the graph chart builder way. Don't understand what that message is. I wish it would quit popping up. Okay, here's that one. Reset. And, oh, look, right there, histogram, histogram, bam. So since we only got one variable, patience, I'm assuming it's going to go down here in the x-axis. And it's going to split them up into, yep, that looks right to me. It's going to split them up into, there it is right there. That's a histogram, okay? There is another way I'm going to show you that I use a, a lot more frequently than the chart builder. You go to analyze up here. Go to descriptives. Go to explore, and your DB is patience, and there it is right there. There's a histogram, and but this is the more important one. This will check for normality of the data for you. Click OK. So that histogram should look, yeah, they're identical. This one looks just like that one. Yep, they do. Um, and this one tells you right off the bat that According to the kolmogorov smirnov test, this data is not violating normality, which I find hard to believe. It sure doesn't look normal to me. But according to the Shapiro-Wilkes, it did. It did violate normality, okay? But that's how you do all these in SPSS. I hope it helped. MGZ, out.